Before creating a custom theme, you need to create a folder to store your new files. Next, you have to create a definition file in Notepad. The definition file is a QEXT file. It defines how custom themes are loaded in ClickSense. The following properties are mandatory for a valid custom theme definition file. Name and type. When finished, save the QEXT file in the folder you created. Go back to Notepad and create a new file. This will be a JSON file, which defines the style for individual visualization types. In this case, paste the sample code and save as a JSON file in the same folder as the QEXT file. If you'd like, you can also create a CSS file to define custom settings. There are different ways to import your new custom template depending on your ClickSense version. If you have ClickSense Desktop, you can save the folder to this path. If you have a different ClickSense version, you can compress the folder into a zip file and then import the theme into the QMC. To learn how to import custom themes into the QMC, watch the Importing Custom Themes video.